This is all going to be great family entertainment, great musicians and bands playing in a great location, and our stage is going to be significant. It's going to have big digital boards, one of the biggest hydraulic stages you can bring onto the beach. You remember that? Almost six months ago when Brad Hoffman came here to Historic Studio D to talk about the Jellyfish Festival. Yeah, at that point, he had already been planning it for four years, and I remember thinking, my goodness, this guy thinks big. And I was right. Turns out Hoffman always has, when it comes to events, something he started as a kid. Brad Hoffman grew up in Ocean City and was never far from the water. Moved here as a young kid. My parents had a business here, a marina, and grew up just doing what I love to do, being around the water. Surfing was a big passion of mine, fishing at a young age, and then also skateboarding. Which led to what would eventually become his calling in life. It was almost like a natural evolution. Here I am a kid skateboarding and surfing, and by default we'd be throwing contests. So they are always, my nickname is B-Rad, they were like, B-Rad, you, you, you should organize it, write everybody's name down on a list, and then we give them scores, and that uh, got into maybe running bigger contests. It didn't take long for him to get involved with a national skateboarding organization, and then went off on his own. So it was almost like I was involved in them, and maybe I saw a way I thought it should be run instead of the old guys, skaters' dads running them. <laughs> Brad's first major event was in 1993 local Palooza. I got all my friends together, bands from up and down the East Coast, had about 10 bands. We did underage kids outside because they couldn't get in the bar. Local Palooza was a big success. And I made a couple grand. You know, it was a great, a great feeling to have made enough money to maybe go on a surf trip that winter. <laughs> from there, Brad expanded into a surf show he says was unlike any other. Not a surf show as in you come to see surfing, but a surf trade show. Uh, companies like Volcom and Quicksilver and O'Neill and Billabong all have brands that they sell to the stores, and that's a trade show. But I built one that was called the Mid-Atlantic Surf, Skate, and Snow Show around the back-to-school season. After eight years, Brad sold the show because he wanted to try something new. And up came the OC Car and Truck Show. I had the vision of doing a public show, not just a private trade show, and we would have cars and DJs and music and youth culture, and that was way before Fast and Furious had come out, so I was kind of on the cusp of something again. Before long, Brad became the go-to for anyone wanting to produce and market shows. But the way Brad runs his events is not easy to replicate. I think if you create not just an idea or a concept, but a movement, I've been a guy that's big about movements, you know, not just, to, it's not about the money. I mean, you got to pay your bills. Yeah, but I've been about making things happen where people really embrace it because it's it's different than what everybody else is doing or it's it's more structured in the way they're looking at things. And that's what he says everyone can expect at the Jellyfish Festival. A real organic local thing that would embrace surfing, skateboarding, but music being the mainstay. But everything from national big bands to local regional acts to the local young people being involved. You know, to me, I always want to say, I'd love to build an event I could take my 11-year-old daughter to. An event that truly does have something for everyone. And one of Brad's companies also puts on Ocean City Jeep Week and the OC Car and Truck Show. He has got his pulse, or my his finger goodness. on the pulse of all that's... On everything that's going yes. on. Incredible.